And yeah, I think this is one fight of the night, I believe. Fight of the night, Drew Dauber and Bobby Green. This was a really good fight. I like both these guys. Both guys fight really hard. They're able to strategize their fights, right? Like I watch Dauber, a Bobby Green fight. Like I watch enough of it. I will see game plans develop. I will see strategies develop. It's not necessarily guys just going out and trading and having a sparring match or or, or whatever. It's not a one-trick pony type thing. I, they're enjoyable in, in pretty much every fight I've seen. But this was a sticky fight, I think, for, for Dauber because if he wasn't able to pull this off and get the finish and win the fight, he's he's, you know, kind of deadlocked himself in that weight division because Bobby Green already got worked – by Islam and he's just not going to get into that title contention zone for a while like he's just not he's gonna have to win some big fights against big names consecutively before he gets to there so if Dabra would have dropped this it would have it would have put him behind a big rock trying to get ahead and get to the title but Dabra looked good but you know uh Bobby Green was winning the fight in my opinion Bobby Green was winning that fight up until the knockout he was able to use movement you know he's moving laterally uh often making Dabra chase him a little bit and he was able to use that jab, and he was able to, to flick off a lot of quick punches, a lot of quick strikes. He was using his speed to his advantage, and he was scoring. He was doing really well. The Dauber was doing a good job of trying to corral Bobby Green. He was struggling with it a little bit. He eventually found his mark, but he had to move his head, get inside, and land those big punches. He had the power. Green had the speed, and that fight played out You know, with those guys trying to utilize those advantages dover ends up with the knockout in the second he did he did great it was a really good fight i'm enjoyable and i believe they got the fight of the night award i think they did get brendan is saying did i expect to see dover lose no i wasn't expecting to see dover lose no i wasn't uh, i liked dover i thought i thought um i thought he would win that fight i was hoping that he would win that fight also because you know, I, I, he's exciting. He's fun. He's skilled. I like, I, you know, I like watching him fight. So I thought he would win. I wanted to see him win because I want to see him fight bigger names. Being honest, like he was losing. Uh, Bobby Green was just staying a little bit ahead of him and getting the work done. And uh, Dover ended up getting the job done, which is great. Colin says Green had his hands down the whole time, which is his style. However, should have been a bit more careful with a big puncher like Dover. Yeah, I, I, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Sometimes it's the, this is the thing is sometimes the guys who put their hands down, cause I've done this in, in training and sparring and stuff before, but sometimes when you put your hands down, it, it gets the other guy anxious. He gets overly anxious and starts head hunting a lot and you can use that against them. The problem is your speed dissipates. It goes away after you get a little older, you can't rely on it forever. There's also so many tools available in mma to attack somebody and hurt somebody that if you're dropping your hands like there's a good chance that a kick or knee or something comes through and you get caught so you i think you're 100 right you're better off just keeping your hands up all the time and not playing that game but i understand what they're doing when they play that game